Hi guys, Chris Ingram here with Prosperitas Financial, and today we are going to talk about um, step up in basis at death when you're passing um, assets on to your beneficiaries. Um, first thing I'll talk about is how it works currently, because I don't think people fully understand how it works um, currently. So let's start there, and then I can talk about some proposed changes that might be coming in the future that you might want to think about. So the way it works currently is let's assume that I purchased a, a piece of real estate, a property, long time ago and I paid $500,000 for it, okay? And let's say that over the years, that property is now worth $2 million, okay? So at my death, this passes to my children, okay? And the way the step up in basis works currently is that at the day of my death, they reassess or step up the cost basis to the current value on the day that I die. So if it's worth $2 million the day that I die, and then my kids immediately sell it for $2 million, they would owe zero in taxes. There's technically no gain on that property and they wouldn't have any capital gains taxes due. However, obviously the piece of real estate has gone up $1.5 million over those years, okay? So they save a lot in taxes with the current step up in basis. Um, President Biden has talked about a couple of different options or ways that he might wanna change this in the future. And one of them um, that he first talked about was eliminating this altogether, no step up in basis, which if that were to occur, you would now have $1.5 million in gains and you would owe taxes on this entire amount here, okay? And he even proposed taking the top capital gains tax rate to 39.6%. So you could see in this scenario, my children pay $0 in taxes because of the step up in the basis, the way it works currently. And here, they would owe 39.6 potentially on $1.5 million of gains. Obviously, a lot more taxes would be due under that scenario. However, he's kind of backtracked a little bit. And what he's proposing now is that they put a million dollar cap on the gain. So you'd get a step up of $1 million, but that would be the maximum step up. So in this scenario, there's $1.5 million of gain. You'd get a million dollar step up. Anything above that would be taxable, which means that my children would pay taxes on the $500,000, okay? So obviously not as good as zero dollars in taxes, but not as bad as this scenario here, but still something that we need to think about. One of the other um, ideas that's been tossed around, which I think would be um, devastating to a lot of people, is that in this scenario, if my, client, or if my kids um, get the house and they sell it, they would have to either pay zero on taxes, whatever the taxes here, whatever the taxes are on the 500,000. But he's also talked about potentially having this affect an unrealized gain. What that means is, I buy the house for $500,000. At my death, it's worth $2 million. My kids don't want to sell the property. They want to hold on to it. At that time, it would generate an unrealized ta or capital gain that you would owe taxes on. So depending on the scenario, let's go back to this scenario. Let's say he got this to push through. My kids would owe taxes on the $1.5 million of gain even though they weren't planning on selling the property. So where that becomes a very, very big problem is let's assume that my kids don't have the cash to be able to pay the tax on the gain. Well, they're gonna be forced to sell that property. Uh, they have no choice. It's the only way to, to drum up the money to be able to pay the taxes. And so you could push families into potentially fire selling properties or having to get out even though they don't wanna get out um, it forces their hand and makes the decision for them, which could be um, very difficult for a lot of families in this scenario. So um, one more thing to think about is that we're talking about one property, but let's assume that I own two properties, both with a gain of $1.5 million, 
and I own a stock portfolio that I put $500,000 into that's now worth two million, which is another $1.5 million of potential capital gains. That's $4.5 million in cap gains, okay? With a $1 million maximum step up, that means that my family is still gonna owe taxes on $3.5 million of capital gains. Under current circumstances, they wouldn't know anything. If this were to go into effect, my children potentially owe 3.96% on $3.5 million of capital gains. So everybody's scenario is gonna be different, but um, this is something that could have a very big impact on a lot of families. And so people need to start thinking about it. One thing I will point out, is that right now this is all talk. None of it is set in stone, none of it is a reality, it's all being proposed, and I assume that there's gonna be a lot of pushback um, before this goes into effect. So this may never happen, but this is something that is being proposed and something people should be thinking about. And if you have a scenario that is similar to something like this, you should probably sit down with a financial advisor, your estate planning attorney, or your accountant and start talking about what you would do to help um, alleviate some of this. Because there are things you can do. Um, there's lots of things you can do. So having the conversation now, having a plan just in case this goes into effect would be a good thing. So for more information, give us a call or check us out at www.prosperitisfin.com.